Hi everyone, welcome back to day three of Wi-Fi week. Today I look at the advantages of getting a dual band router. You may have heard the name while shopping for a router, but what is it? It's a regular router that puts out wireless service on two separate wavelengths. Think of it like an expressway with collector's lanes. They won't interfere with each other and allow certain types of traffic to proceed uninterrupted. This service comes on either a 2.4 gigahertz band or a 5 gigahertz band. Now the big question, why would I want a router with two bands? Well, how many internet connected devices do you have in your home right now? Living with my wife, we have two cell phones, two computers, an Apple TV, a PlayStation 4. On top of that, how many wireless devices do you have? My wife has wireless candles. We have remotes for the TV, remotes for the Apple TV, remotes for my PlayStation, and I have wireless headphones. Now they don't use Wi-Fi, but are nonetheless wireless. And don't forget about Bluetooth devices. All of these compete for bandwidth on the wireless spectrum to communicate with one another. If you only have a single band router, you're causing all of this traffic to travel on the express lanes with the collector lanes wide open. Now, speed bump. On top of all of those devices, other devices in your home emit a frequency that can affect the wireless signal. This could include microwaves and oddly enough, Christmas lights. This would be like blocking up one of the lanes on that expressway with an accident, again, slowing travel. These devices typically interfere on the 2.4 wavelength and leave the five alone. Installing a dual band router opens up that second highway for you to use on the information highway. Strategically logging devices on a particular bands may help improve speeds. Personally, the devices I want steadfast reliability from go on the five band so as to never be impeded. Other devices where I can tolerate a bit of slowing, I leave on the 2.4 band. Some devices are even smart enough to pick which band to use to get them the best speeds. Now this is all a little bit to set up, but it pays off in the long run. Now that's it for today. Check back tomorrow where I give you tips on how to better place your router in your home. Have a great day, everybody.